It's very important that in all of this, you think about digital equity. Students who are lower socioeconomic status may not have access to the internet at home, may not have access to a device at home. And so the problem that you run into is that they are using their school provided device for everything they do online or they're using their school provided wireless network for everything they do online. And students who are middle class or upper class have devices at home. They have their parents' computer, maybe their own tablet, maybe their own laptop, and they're not dependent on the school to access the internet and to access basic things like word processors or design software or other things. Inevitably, this means that because of your monitoring obligations under the Children's Internet Protection Act, that you are scanning the digital life of poorer students way more than you are scanning the digital life of richer students. And so you have to really carefully think about the implications of that. Is it fair to scan those devices when students are off campus? How detailed are you going to be in your monitoring? There's no specified standard of monitoring in the federal law, so it, it can be very, very broad or very, very specific. And that's gonna vary in choice by community, by the type of threats or common issues that you have. But again, come back to fairness. The mistakes that low socioeconomic students are going to make are gonna happen on the school device and the school network, while the mistakes that are made by middle and upper class students are not. And is it fair that the students over here are going to be punished for the same things that happen to students who have their own devices and their own internet when the only reason that you know about them is because they are dependent on the school for internet access.